Hi, I'm Mark Shug. I'm Professor em Emeritus at the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee. Uh, that's what I did for almost 30 years at least. Uh, I left uh, the university about six years ago and we moved down to Jupiter and uh, was very fortunate to learn about the FAU Lifelong Learning Society and uh, came over and uh, became a, one of the instructors here. Uh, my PhD is from the University of Minnesota. Uh, as I said, I taught at the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee for almost 30 years. My primary, primary assignment there was running the Center for Economic Education. Uh, and we were heavily involved in training teachers, and I still do that kind of thing a lot around the country today, teachers and other groups as well. Uh, training people on just basic economics and personal finance. But I've always had a big love for economic history. And a couple of years ago, I got together with a friend of mine at uh, James Mason University, and uh, we wrote a book called Economic Episodes in American History. And that's the topic, uh, you know, I've been drawing topics out of the book for the classes that I've been teaching here. The one upcoming is going to start up talking about the economic of immigration. So that's going to be, a, a, I think, well, at least that's a technically controversial uh, topic. And uh, so we'll have some fun talking about that. So there's some headline things there, but we're really going to talk about some of the historical aspects of it, the various waves of immigrants. Uh, and we're going to look at that from an economic perspective, as all of the sessions I do are all trying to apply an economic way of thinking to look at problems, in this case, like uh, immigration. And then we're going to talk about the robber barons. Were they really robber Were they really robbers? Were they really barons? And have some fun talking about that. And we're going to wonder, too, what happened to those big monopolies that got established in uh, the late 19th century. Where did all those trusts go? Remember Teddy Roosevelt was elected as a trust buster. Well, he only broke up two trusts. Actually, technically one, and one he prevented from starting. So what happened to all those other ones? Uh, we're going to have a, a nice session on uh, the growth of the federal government over time and talk about that. We'll wind up talking about entitlement spending today. Uh, and then our last session is going to be, I think, you know, one of the classic things that economists like to talk about. Why are some nations rich? And why are some nations poor? And we'll start out by talking about the American colonies. Remember, the American colonies were among the last to be settled, and yet uh, it was the 13 British colonies that wind up being extremely wealthy, the wealthiest economy in the world, versus those uh, Spanish colonies where they found all the gold and silver. There were no great natural resources. There was certainly no gold and silver for the British. So why did the British colonies do so very well economically while the Spanish and French colonies didn't do so well at all? So that's the kind of stuff we're going to talk about. Every one of my sessions will bring that kind of economic aspect to it. So I hope you come by. I think we'll have a great time, and I'm looking forward to seeing you.